I think there are um, a few reasons. One is naturally, when you are a leader, you know, even in games, in sports games, or in, 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 in business, normal business, the dominant one will, you know, naturally will think about to empty the, the, the field and uh, keep their uh, leadership. So this could, on the one hand, is a natural uh, response um, by the existing players, especially the leading players. Uh, the second reason, I think, is some political reason, especially some ideological differences. Um, like some people think about China will quickly link this to some, you know, communism and the Stalin style uh, government, which is totally wrong compared to today's China. Um, but this ideological difference will, you know, make some people, you know, uh, feel resistance. Uh, the third reason, I think, probably is also one of the major reasons is lack of communication. People don't know much about China, and uh, China don't know much about uh, the West, um, and uh, they are all imagine. Imagine what, you know, the counterparts how they will think about this, how they will interpret this. And also, like, I have lived in, in the West for more than 10 years. Uh, very often, when I talk to, to people, even friends about China, they will say, oh, you can't say anything in the street. You, you see, they will, they will think you can't comment anything about your, your policy or the government. But if you really go to China, touch the land, you'll find it, it's not true. Um, Normally, as long as you are not saying this publicly in the TV and uh, making comments with a good will rather than, you know, with uh, um, mm, malicious uh, intention, it's totally fine. I have going back, I've gone back many times attending conferences, giving very frank uh, views about the policies.